welcome back i have added new project cloud transformation of epic book to this course and this is e-commerce application you are going to migrate from on premises to aws cloud now quickly look into the application so this is the application and this e-commerce application selling books through online platforms so here if you scroll up here on the menu we can classify books into the different category like classic or children or maybe top nine and based on your interest you can buy the book so let's add this book to the cart and now we see on the cart we have the one so we have added one book to our cart now scroll up you can also look into the books in the more details so here we see the book description what is the book category and when it got published and how many copies available and again from here you can also add to the cart and now we see this number become two again we have the gallery here so from here we can see the different books front page if you are interested looking into that now we can go here click on the cart now we see all details so as of now we have added two books and we can see here order summary total cost is 37.99 dollar and from here we can check out so click on the checkout here you see order is placed once we can close this this cards become zero means order is placed now so as you see this is the e-commerce application and this application we are going to migrate from on premises to aws cloud this is the monolith application so it has the different feature and all these features is developed as a monolith application now let's go to the course and here we have the first assignment to understand this application and application functionality and in general this is what we do when we are working for the customer and helping them to migrate their application from on premises to the cloud so if you start the assignment so here you see i have given this application code repository so click here and here you can see this application source code so as a cloud engineer we need to understand the application and is functionality so if you scroll down I have very well documented the readme and here you see we have different features of this e-commerce platform so here we have the menu you have the gallery selection then the product details add to cart cart and order summary and checkout so this is all are the functionality is part of this application now this is the application architecture as I said this is two tier application architecture and this is monolith so we have the database server where application and also database is working together if you want to get more detail about this application and functionality go ahead and read all this documentation I have written it very well now on the bottom I have also written the different technology used for building this application so front end they have used html css and javascript backend is written in node.js and exploit.js and database in mysql so here you can understand the technology stack of this application now let's go to the assignments so first assignment is all about understanding the application application functionality and its different feature now next assignment is doing the local installation of this application so either you can do this installation on your local system or maybe you can create a ec2 instance or you can do that assuming this is your local environment or maybe this is customer data center so for that again if you go to the application source code here you see installation configuration and troubleshooting guides if you open this I have very well documented each and every step to run this application locally or maybe on EC2 instance. So here you can either run on the Amazon Linux 2 or maybe on your local machine and for that you need these softwares. I scroll down if the steps have given in very well so if you can follow this you are able to make this application running.
again i have added troubleshooting steps so when i was running this application on my local system i was facing some problem so i have added this as a issues and also solution and also some more details as well so in case you are facing some other problem you will be able to troubleshoot so this is going to help you do the local installation of this application so once you complete assignment number two the next assignment is designing the cloud architecture of this application so obvious in first assignments you understood the application and its functionality right you have done the local installation and configuration now you are more familiar with the application right now next step is to design cloud native architecture and this should be similar to the architecture what we have designed in the assignment number 10 to scroll up here first let me open this assignment if you go here scroll up so this is the architecture so i'm expecting you will be designing architecture like this based on your understanding of this application while running on your local system this is the assignment number theory then assignment number four is to do lift and shift migration of this application and again this is going to be exactly same as it is running on your local system so again if you look at the our project number nine where we did this two tier application deployment so it will be exactly same the we have done here I have to follow the same steps and one thing so what I wanted here when you are doing this lift and shift again make sure to again install mysql on your ec2 instance itself so i don't want to make rds because for that we have the another assignments so assignment number 54 means for this project it will be fourth assignment so just do lift and shift and after that in assignment number 55 or fifth you have to decompose database from your running ec2 instance where your application is running to amazon rds so one part is creating amazon rds and second part is migrating data itself for that again you can take a dump of, of mysql database or you can use database migration service it's up to you in next assignment you are going to make this whole application high available so again this will be similar to our project number 10 so if you remember project number 9 was deploying two tier application architecture and project 10 we made this application high available so all those steps you are going to do for this assignment so we are going to use auto scaling ami going to create a load balancer so you will be making this application high available then is assignment number 57 you are going to take out all static contents from running ec2 instance and also all images and going to put in s3 bucket and again on top of that you will use cloud front to serve a static content and next assignment is the doing a refactoring as you understood this application has the different component then of course you can make it as microservice architecture so i have not given this assignment as of now i'm working on it these are the all different assignments of this project trust me this is going to give a lot of good knowledge and information if you are really interested to understand how to migrate a application from on premises to the cloud and super excited please go ahead and start the assignments once you are ready submit your assignments me or my team is going to review it and going to give you feedback thank you so much see you in the assignment